Hello and welcome back. I'm 3D Model on YouTube, and in this tutorial, I want to show you how to make a normal map or to burn a normal map onto a, a low poly object so that it will contain the shadow information from the high resolution model. This technique can be used for any objects that you have that you may want to import into a game. And I also want to address some issues that, that can arise, uh, arise with, with this method of uh, burning the shadows. And um, it might be a good idea to have Photoshop installed to make some work afterwards. But um <coughs> let's get started. So as you can see here, we have uh, two different models, a high poly model over here and a low poly model over here. Now, the low poly model will become the the model that we will be able to import into a game with less information but still with the same shadows as this one over here and um, so what we'll do is that we will first unwrap this model here and then we will burn this information onto that unwrap so let's get this uh, square uh, cube cube it is um, unwrap so that we can burn the shadows so first of all, I'll go into my modifiers list and I'll buy the unwrap UV modifier. As you can see, we ha I have had a box on this model before, so it will try to cut it out for me. Now, I don't want this um, these uh, cutouts that I have here. Obviously, I can use some of them. Uh, for instance, this one on top and this one on bottom. I'll use those and then I'll just fold um, the sides here. Uh, I want to fold those out. Um, so yeah, let's just get started here. So, and let me make this smaller so that you can see the picture in the picture better what's happening. So as you can see here, this is our box, um, but from all the sides. So what we want to do, we want to select the top um, square here, and I'll select the element. I select it from here, and um, when I press the, the element on the scene, you can see it will be selected in the um, in the U editor edit UV maps um, window here so I'll press the middle button here and I'll just expand this one to be the, the whole top and then I'll just right click this one and say break if I can find the, the button yeah this is a problem um, I just go in here in tools and say break and as you can see it has been broken apart so I'll take that off I'll do the same with the bottom as you can see I need these ones and I'll go to tools and break those again and then we have the, the side here and those I want to unwrap with a cylinder so just minimize this one I'll go down to a cylinder as you can see, it fits a cylinder around my object, and I'll go down to fit, and it'll fit the cylinder around my shape, and press the cylinder box again, and as you can see, it have unwrapped the, the model for me, and I'll just stretch this out, and there you go. So now you can see that the object has been unfolded I'll just select the element press that small box here and I'll move this up now you might notice that the cinder blocks on these ones here are square and these ones are not so what I want to do now I want to relax these but first I want to cut this side off and stitch this to this one so what I'll do I'll select the edges here go to unfold and select break or the tool sorry and I'll try to stitch stitch these together so when I've done that I'll show you how to okay now I want to select the edges um, so this one this one this one this one and this one and I want to attach stitch selected 
and there you go. So now you can see those have been stitches to stitched to the the object so that we have it the whole thing here unfolded. I also want to relax these uh, with the relax tool, and this allows it to kind of make up the uh, the way that the object is on on the. So as you can see here, the, the small squares indicate that the object is unfolded correctly. As you can see in the middle here, they are <coughs> closer together. That means that they are stretched or compressed because it will try to fit all of these squares here into that small space. So the more these will align or look the same, the closer it becomes on the 3D object. So I'll apply relax from face angles and start relaxing. And there you go, you can see the relax has been applied perfectly. And I'll do the same with the top and the bottom. So now that I have relaxed these, I can obviously stitch the object. Um, I see here. I'll select the face underneath, and this one should be stitched to it. So I'll try and stitch select it. Uh, there we go. And I'll do the same with the bottom one. I'll stitch select it. There we go. And to put this into the square that the texture is in, the texture is in the blue square here, so everything outside it will be a repetition. So the square here will be indicated over here, 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 and nine times down here. Obviously also further out, but this will give me room to show you the texture. It's, it will only be replicated six times. So what I can do here is pack UVs, and I'll press OK. So now you can see that the object has been unpacked and it has been shown into the uh, filled into the the gap that we had or the small square that so that it will fit. So I move this up a bit so just so that it is in the middle. I also select inverted faces, but there are none. If you had inverted faces, select inverted faces, it would be this one. You would have problems with burning the object in the normal map, it wouldn't give you anything. So if you have a object where you cannot see the burned out version, you will probably look for inverted face because that's pro probably the problem. So I'll just invert these again, and I'll close this down, and I'll collapse my modifier so that if the program crashes, I'll still have the information. I'll also select all of it and create a one huge a normal or pulley smoothing group so that everything is smooth or trying to be smoothed out. So now the time has come to burn this object, but uh, I'll I think I'll show you that in the next tutorial. So um, yeah, I'm 3D model on YouTube. Thanks for watching.